Okay, and again, this is the CinePro 4K from GetRC. I'm going to be putting on two of these in the back. So that way, when I'm flying through the air like this, I can see that the green ones are in the back, which way it's flying through the air. Um, sometimes that's really hard to do, especially from a distance. What we got here are some 6,000 kV motors. Um, these are the same motors that are on here, except uh, they are 6,000 kV instead of the stock 5,000 kV. Um, I have to replace one of these motors because, as you can see, it's not supposed to come off like that. <laughs> it broke a shaft, basically, while I was flying from this prop guard being broken and it banging into the tree. It ended up dislodging this, breaking the shaft and everything, so... That just goes to show why you should always keep your parts in proper working order. I was flying it around broken knowing that that would be a risk and I took the risk and it happened. So, nobody to blame but myself, but took the opportunity to go ahead and exercise some options. Maybe go ahead and change out the motors to 5000 kV. I don't know why I'm doing this because I guess I'm going to keep this rotor. This propeller, I should say, not rotor. But I gotta take it off the motor before I take the other screw out because it's gonna get really hard to do. Always keep a magnet around for all your bolts. I always do that. And this is this is a cool little kit I got from Walmart that has all your electronics bits in it that'll work on all electronics. It's got special bits like star bits. All that cool stuff. Um, it was like seven bucks. Best thing I ever bought, I think, from Walmart. To be honest with you. That was a Walmart steal. So there goes your uh, motor. The top bell part. This has the magnets glued all to the side. And just in case you're wondering, uh, we got a storm coming right now. A hurricane. I'm in Florida and uh, we're prepping for Hurricane Dorian. I actually went out and prepped real early on, so now I'm just trying to pass time and not go crazy, stir crazy sitting in the house. And that's why I'm doing this RC stuff. I'll give you a view of the, uh, we got the shutters all up. I'm on the patio and it's nice and cool because we got the shutters up here. See if I can give you a good decent view. Yeah. So. Yep, yep, yep. We're getting ready for a big storm coming our way. Hopefully, uh, it spares us damage. Because we are not ready to deal with a big hurricane, really. We have a lot of saturated ground and the rain that they're saying is coming. It's kind of scary. I'm pretty far inland, pretty close to Lake Okeechobee, and yeah, it just worries me, that's all. I don't want the lake to overflow the dike, which if it did, that would be a catastrophic event. That would really mess things up. <laughs> it hasn't happened since 1930, put it like that, so if it did happen, it'd be really bad. Luckily, they've been keeping the water levels a little bit lower, I heard, this year than they have the rest of the years, which is a good thing because we're about to get the biggest storm ever. So. Oh, well, I got a lot of RC stuff to work on that I'm going to be working on during the storm. I'm uh, getting it all ready for after the storm, hopefully things go well with the storm that after the storm I'll need to have my stuff ready to fly. Alright. So this is actually not a real easy job. This is kind of a tough job that I'm doing right here because I'm going to have to re-solder this motor on. I think what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to make a connection plug, unplug and plug. That way when I get in when I want to change the motors, I just plug them in, unplug them. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to cut the uh, motors that are already soldered onto the uh, flight controller. I'm going to
gonna cut them short when you think it's too small of a bit it looks like. So I'm going to do some star bits too and that's fine anyway. Should be using the seven got to use on these bolts is a 1 16th um, 1 16th allen key type bit that's what works best on these really Let's see if we can get that in there there we go got them on camera I gotta try to make everything uh, easy for you guys to see too Now, one of the really important steps here, make sure we get all our bolts on the magnet because we don't want to lose any. Actually, we got extra ones, so it really doesn't make that big of a deal. Okay, um, where's the stock 5000? I think what I'm gonna do, just to get this flying as quick as possible, I wanna fly today with this, is I'm gonna put a 5000 on right now only replace this one motor real quick because none of the other motors look really worn out or damaged or anything and this motor actually still looks pretty good it just was a fluke from the accident that broke it 